Hi, this is a very quick video on uh, how to use Sky Safari Pro with uh, ASA Air Pro and Sky Safari Pro um, on the Mountains RST135. I think a couple of days back, maybe like a week back, I posted a video on how to use Sky Safari Pro with uh, RST135. But it looks like there is some interest in how to use Sky Safari Pro to ASA Air Pro and then hop on to RST135. Um, there is some confusion on how to do this because you know there are two protocols LX200 protocol and uh, the rainbow protocol that is supported on the mount and ASA Air Pro can only talk to RST using the rainbow protocol and not the LX200 protocol. On the other hand Sky Safari Pro on the iPad or your iPhone or any other tablet can talk to RST135 but using only LX200 protocol not the rainbow protocol so there is a mismatch um, so the question is how to go about doing this um, I think the solution depends on how you want to control it there are two options one is from Sky Safari Pro you can directly control um, RST135 in which case you would select LX200 uh, protocol on the mount and you specify LX200 protocol on Sky Safari Pro. The other approach is, which we're gonna look at today, is from Sky Safari Pro, um, you talk to ASA Air Pro and then you specify LX200 here because ASA Air Pro is not the one that is controlling uh, the mount so long story short if you happen to need uh, sky safari pro the protocol you will specify on the mount is going to be lx200 you do not specify um, the rainbow protocol even though there is a SAA pro involved uh, the reason being uh, in this setup where you go from sky safari to asa to the mount the asa is only going to act as a proxy whatever command uh, is going to be issued is going to be issue, issued by Sky Safari and ASA Air Pro is only going to proxy all those commands into whatever mount is connected in the USB so that's why you don't specify the rainbow protocol on the mount so um, the solution uh, to summarize is on the mount using your hand controller go to communication select the uh, protocol on the USB to be uh, LX200, switch off the mount, switch it on uh, once you have it like that. Um, and then you open up the ASA Air Pro and then uh, you have to have the ASA Air Pro. Make sure your Wi-Fi station mode is disabled on the ASA Air Pro. Uh, switch it off. Uh, so what we are going to do is from uh, the iPad, you select the Wi-Fi and connect to ASA Air Pro. You connect to that Wi-Fi, uh, so you should be able to you know use your ASA Air Pro um, um, app. So now you let's go into Sky Safari Pro. You go to settings, and in setup, you create a scope type as LX200 mount, Equatorial Go To Mount. IP address, you specify the IP address that is given to you from ASA Air Pro's manual. It's 10.0.0.1, it's the IP address. Port number is 4030. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you click on done. So what's going to happen is, since we are connected to Wi-Fi of the ASA Air Pro, with our IP address, it's going to talk to that uh, device on the network. And uh, when we connect and disconnect, we're connecting to um, the mount um, because ASA Air Pro in this setup is going to act like a proxy. Uh, that is as per their documentation if you look at their manual. Um, so now uh, let's just try it out on Mars. So if I you know, uh, swipe the screen, let's like Betelgeuse, and let's say go to, you can see the mount moving. Uh, this is a, just an interesting setup. Um, no, there's a lot of confusion. 
I guess the other thing that I can just mention is if at all you want to use some other mode of uh, connectivity, uh, then only thing to remember is the IP address is going to change, right? So if it says 10.0.0.1, it's kind of expecting you to use ASA Air's network. So if you're going to use some other network like your house Wi-Fi or something, then uh, the ASA Air's IP address is going to be different. Uh, and you can find that by going to ASA Air Pro, uh, going to this Wi-Fi symbol. And once you connect to some other network, you will see an I and then you'll see the IP address on that spot. Um, but I would expect that, you know, if you're gonna be using Sky Safari in a remote location, um, you're probably just gonna might as well just connect to uh, uh, the ASA Air's uh, hotspot. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to capture that. Uh, hope this was useful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.